Hi, my name is Josh Matthews. Um, the thermodynamic process that I'm going to be describing is my rice cooker right here. So the rice cooker has four main parts. It's got the main body that you see, the inner cooking pot right here. And then inside, we got the heating plate right here. And this is a spring-loaded thermometer. And so how the rice cooker works is you put the rice and some water in the inner cooking pot right here place it inside the rice cooker and close the lid. So you plug it in and turn it on. When you turn it on, it takes electrical energy from the wall and converts that into heat energy via the heating plate on the inside of here. That heating plate then transfers the heat energy to the inner cooking pot, which heats up the water and the rice inside. It continues to heat it until the water reaches its boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. And when it hits that temperature, the temperature stops increasing for a while because all the extra energy that's continuing to be put in is being used to vaporize the water. So that process will continue until um, all the water is boiled up. At that point, the temperature will then start to increase. And as soon as that temperature starts to increase again, that thermometer in there senses it and tells the machine to stop, um, stop heating it up and it goes into a warm mode. So the temperature will cool and it will just keep the rice warm. And that's how a rice cooker works.